Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So, today I'm going to be talking about childhood traumas or so. This will include some of the childhood traumas. When I say childhood traumas, no. I don't mean, like, real-life problems. I meant, like, internet stuff. But when I say real-life childhood traumas, then it meant something real, alright? So, for childhood traumas, when I was, like, a kid or so, y'all know that I have, a, like, a belly kink addiction and a gore addiction because I like to watch people being killed and murdered or slaughtered mostly in animations or sometimes I'll watch it in real life it depends on which kind of one I want to watch and I will also watch stuff that are fetishes mostly just belly fetishes such as just inflation stuffing war and pregnancy you guys already know I have a belly kink addiction because childhood trauma, that's why. It's because of some videos I shouldn't have watched when I was a kid and because I wasn't supervised by internet stuff. So yeah, that's why. For for the gore stuff, I would probably t talk about, which is probably going to be Happy Tree Friends and some adult cartoons. As well, such as Family Guy and also South Park. I'm pretty sure there's more gory cartoons I actually watched or so when I was a kid. So, yeah. And also, yes, My Little Pony stuff. And also, also, ASML. Yes, I like to watch um, Super Mario Logan when I was a kid back then. I started to watch Super Mario Logan because I thought the show was funny. But actually, when I look back to it, I actually didn't realize that I was I was literally watching a show full of swears and more. But I was like, uh, who cares? The show is still good. So yeah. But anyways, anyways. <laughs> So this is a real life thing I have done and where I cursed. Mostly, my first curse word was hell. When I said hell when I was a kid, I learned from one video, which was about happy tree friends and go animation or some shit. Like the go animation, when I say go animation, I meant like that, that one animation talks about like Caillou being grounded or stuff. Like Caillou, you're grounded. Yeah, that's probably why I don't like it because I do not like hearing the word grounded, 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 grounded. I'm like, shut the fuck up. We know what you're talking about. Just stop. So yeah. Mostly, mostly, I watched that one video. It was like a happy tree friend character but it was not in the show it was like something else like probably an oc or so like <clears throat> yeah also i made myself and pay crew the the png youtuber shit thingy i'm not a pg and youtuber i do not like to do that or so but whatever anyways anyways so, <laughs> I was watching the video, and when Sniffles, I think the character's name, yeah, the anteater, I mean, the anteater Sniffles, yeah, Sniffles said, what the hell is wrong with you? And I was like, hell? I think I should not say heaven. I mean, not, I mean, not heaven, I mean, I think I should start saying hell. Oh, I thought hell was a good word, but my parents got really bad at me. They were saying, stop saying that. That's a curse word. And I didn't care. I tried to curse more and more, and yeah, I got myself in trouble. But now, till this day, I'm like saying, hell is not a bad word. It's just a place under our feet. Yeah, religion stuff. <laughs> Heaven or hell? Helvin? What about Helvin? What about if you're a sinner and a good person? Will you go to Helvin? Or will you just be reborn? Or will you just be disappeared for insanity? I don't know. <laughs> but whatever. But to be honest, I don't think hell is a curse word at all. I just think it's just a random word probably a religion person would say. Like a Christian or so. Maybe other religions. I don't know about Jewish people. I don't know if they believe that hell exists. Uh, 
Okay, li okay, guys. L listen, listen. I just watched too much South Park. All right. I'm, I'm like, do Jewish people believe in hell? Yeah, I'm going to search that up soon. So, yeah. But anyways, anyways. <laughs> so, there was this one time when I was in third grade, y'all. By the way, I'll be moving my tablet screen just in case if my stupid screen recorder, I mean, my screen falls asleep. So, yeah. <laughs> so, guys. So, like... <clears throat> There was this one time in third grade. In third grade, I just said Jesus Christ. And all the other... And, like, let me explain. Let me explain. This was just a story Take it back at third grade. It was picture day, all right? I was sitting down, and the other kids were sitting down waiting for pictures to be taken. And there was two boys behind me, mostly. I think there was three. Yeah, three. Three boys were behind me. And one of them were playing with my hair or just messing with my hair. I politely told them to stop. And they just giggled and they said no. I got a little angry, but I didn't mind. They continued to touch my hair more and more. And I said, can you stop, please? They didn't care, so they continued playing more and more. And then I just said, stop it. And they giggled and they said no. And I said, Jesus Christ, stop. And they went, oh. <gasps> Ooh, like, what the hell did I do wrong? I just literally said a God's name. Guys, guys. Okay, for my very young viewers, if you're ever in third grade, if you say Jesus Christ, that is not a bad word. You're just saying a uh, God's name. Jesus Christ is not a bad word. It's a good word. It's a God's name. It's our Savior name. Please, please. Come on, come on. I'm pretty sure that that they were seven or some shit. I don't know. I don't know how old third graders could be, but bro, being in seven, being being in seven years and just saying Jesus Christ, thinking that that's a bad word. No. After I just said that, when they say ooh, I just think that oh god, they're gonna tell the teacher. So. Mostly, they were just, like, saying that I was I said a bad word or, or any shit like that. And the teacher said that, stop bothering her. And they moved them to the back of the line. And I said, is Jesus Christ a bad word? And my teacher said, no, that's just a God's name. How could that be a bad word? And also, I think boys should just leave girls alone. I have, like, a very old teacher. And he was, like, probably in his... 50s or 60s or so. So, yeah. Mostly, I learned that. So, just remember, guys. Just remember. Saying a God's name does not automatically mean it's a curse word. You're just saying a God's name. Let's just say that you say Allah. And people say that, oh my gosh, you said a bad word. That's not a bad word. You're just saying a God's name. Like, say, like... Like what? How come that's a bad word? There is more other bad words than that. That's just a freaking God's name. A God's name is not a curse word. It's just a Lord's name. It's just a name. And that's why some people, religionists, probably use it for. And I'm pretty sure people will use Jesus Christ a lot. So yeah. But anyways, anyways. Saying a saying like a god's name does not automatic uh, sorry does not automatically mean it's a curse word. No, it isn't. It's it's just a name from a god. All right, that's all right. That's good. There's more worse names. I'm mean, not names. I mean, there's more a lot more horrible curse words than that. I mean, there is a lot of horrible curse words like the f word. <laughs> The F slur word, the N word, the B word, and a lot more. And yes, I'm talking about fuck, faggot, N word. I don't want to say it on YouTube because I don't want to get banned. Beaner, and also cracker. And there's a lot more worse, worse <laughs> racial names than that, and also more. Horrible cuss words than fuck. I don't know if there could be like a horrible cuss word than fuck. 
but I'm pretty sure fuck is not that much of a horrible word, but sometimes when you say it too much, yeah. <laughs> but still, it's still a bad word, I guess. But anyway, it's a great age to ever start cursing at is probably at middle school, at fifth grade. At fifth grade, you're finally getting to have a chance to finally curse. Or you can just start cursing at 7th grade, yeah, if you want. Because middle school is a horrible place to ever be at, and besides, I'm pretty sure a lot of kids there would curse a lot. I mean, when I was in, when I was like in middle school, y'all, a lot of kids said the N-word too much, everyone said the F-word, everyone started to curse at the teacher, yeah, that's middle school for y'all. Middle school is like a freaking hell place to be at, at least... Like, let me just say that, let me just say this. At least elementary school is not bad at middle school, and at least high school is a, is not that bad as middle school, because middle school is a freaking hell place to ever be at. From someone who experienced from middle school, yeah, middle school sucks ass. Literal, it sucks fucking ass. It's a horrible place to ever be at, y'all. <sighs> Because I would do anything to go back to be a little kid. Anything. Than just growing up and pu- I mean, peepering with your friends. And also, a lot more other people that will be so toxic to you. And yes, I was stuttering too much, y'all. Mostly, I just, I just miss saying words. That's why. But anyways, anyways. <laughs> just remember, just remember. Saying that God's name is not a curse word. And there's more horrible... <laughs> curse words to think of just let y'all know so yeah and the only word i just learned from the internet was just the h word hell <laughs> it's not a bad word it's just a place under our feet come on y'all just come on but i never cursed when i was in elementary school because if i have <clears throat> a lot of a lot of fucking kids will be Tattletilling on me, mostly just snitching on me. Like, like, stitches, I mean, snitchers get stitches. Yeah. Whatever shit. Anyways, that's all for now. <laughs> and yes, it, it's a true story, just let y'all know. And I do not like when people touch my hair, alright? I just do not like it. But anyways, that's all for now, and bye bye